Welcome to Sectigo Certificate Manager How-To Video Series. This video will show how Sectigo Certificate Manager administrators can request an SSL certificate from within the user interface of SCM using the manual CSR option. Rules for issuing SSL certificates. All SCM administrators can issue an approved certificate for the organization or department's validated domains, which they have been assigned to. Certificate Signing Request or CSR When you request an SSL certificate in SCM, you must provide a certificate signing request. You can manually generate and provide the CSR to have the certificate issued. In future videos, we will show you how you can generate a CSR using SCM automatically and have the installation of the certificate totally automated. If you order an OV certificate, it will be issued automatically within minutes. If you order an EV certificate, it will be issued automatically only if you have an EV anchor certificate. If you do not have an EV anchor certificate, you must contact the Sectigo validation team using the contact number you received during your onboarding process. We will now walk through the issuance of an SSL certificate using the manual CSR option. Firstly, we need to navigate to the SSL certificate button on the left-hand side of SCM. You'll see other certificates that you may have issued. Now you're going to click the add button, which is the green plus sign at the top right-hand corner of your screen. Once selected, SCM will prompt you for the enrollment method. So we're going to select to use the Certificate Signing Request or CSR. You will then define the required parameters. The organization name that requires a certificate. This will show up on the certificate as the owner of the certificate requests. Then the department name. Afterward, you'll then select the appropriate certificate profile that will be used. The certificate profile will define the actual duration of the certificate. It will also define the parameters of the certificate, including the issuer. Please note that these are the things we're going to be discussing on future videos, so please make sure to check those out. Next, select the option which defines the duration of the certificate and then, if applicable, specify an email address of an external requester. This should be the individual you are doing the actual request for. Note that when the time comes, the requester will then get an email with the information about the certificate. You can also provide additional fields on the certificate. These will be populated on the certificate itself such as comments, PO order numbers, or anything that you may need to add. After, you should click on the next button. Now, we have to provide the CSR file. You can either drag and drop the CSR file or you can upload or import the CSR file. Alternatively, you can simply cut and paste it. As soon as the CSR file is imported, press the tab key and it will populate the RSA key type. With SCM, you can add additional or alternate names if needed. When doing bulk imports, make sure you have properly spaced each value or use commas to separate the multiple values. In this scenario, when you're using a profile for the wildcard or multi-domain certificate, you will need to type in the different domains, add them manually and click the plus sign for the items that you wish to have the same certificate applied to. Once that is done, it is time to proceed to the last option which is deciding on the certificate auto-renewal parameters. This allows the renewal of the certificate to take place during a certain period prior to the expiration. Enabling this allows you to define how many days prior to expiration you wish to auto-renew. For instance, you can set it to renew 30 days or 20 days or any period before its expiration date. As soon as you click OK, the certificate will appear on the SCM dashboard. And at this point you have full administration capabilities. If you require any additional information, Please check our documentation page in SCM as well as all the various articles in our knowledge-based section. Thank you.